Oh, I'm recording. I thought I was taking a picture. Oh dear. Stop. I haven't used this for a while. So yes, I've put the light on there because you can see, look how nice these cameras are, especially that aqua one in the centre, or mint if you like. So, um, but the one I've got is not like any of those, mine's like this, with, see the difference? That's a little cheap one, but um, yeah, so, and um, the beauty of this, look, it's got a little cap thing on there, on the, the beauty of this is um, you can wear it round your neck. Let me show you. So there, you see, I don't have to worry about dropping it or looking for it in my bag and being unable to find it. I can just wear it and, you know, go, yeah. It's really, really good. But I've been having problems with the camera. You see, what happened is, um, as you know, this one, I, if you watch me regularly, I dropped this one in the sea. And he died a couple of he made two videos after and then died and um and every you know i took him to the camera shop they said oh no nothing you can do once that's that's you know that won't be any good anymore and i'd already dropped him on the ground and his battery door was on um, like almost off and all bent round and i had a job to shut it and then he wouldn't work properly and then he, he was fine after but anyway after i dropped him in the sea they said no that's it but Weeks later, I took it all out of its house, took him out of his housing, unscrewed everything, took him out, washed the whole thing under the tap, then washed it in isopropyl alcohol, left it for like a couple of weeks, and it came back, it came back to life. And there was a few things wrong, but gradually over time, he's exactly the same now as he was before, and he's working perfectly. There's only one little thing that, when you switch him on, you get this screen which you have to then set the time, but it was doing that before I dropped him in the sea, after I got him splashed with seawater one day. And then you just press that and, or start to, oh, hang on, what do you, you press that bottom one and it goes. And um, there's a the flower I filmed last night, my friend's house, a spathe flower of a peace lily. So that's that. So he's working perfectly fine again. But I try not to take him out and about with me because I don't want to cause any more damage. Now this camcorder, look how dull that looks on here. It's a lovely bright blue. It looks grey on here. Um, this is HD and it takes up so much space on the hard drive, even if you compress it, which I often do, I compress them after. So I've been using this blue one for a while. Well, I dropped it. On my friend's bathroom and um, I dropped it before but this time the battery one of the hinges on the battery door is gone so I have to have elastic band tied around it the same as I used to have to do with an old Nikon now I could still use this I mean I still can use it see I'm still using it, it still comes on but the slightest movement of that and everything goes but it takes a while to fire up once you've switched on it always always done that but um the last ones I took on it, I don't know if you can see that, was this. And there was some a video and some still images and some um, pic for my latest Dolly video. And let me just put my hand over that light and then you probably see that a bit better. See? I'm trying to hide. Yeah. I'll put my hand over the light. And I thought there were some nice atmospheric images and videos. I've got to be careful recording on the webcam because there's hard drives running out of space rapidly again. So I did quite a few of these. And um, also clouds, cloud formations, because you know I'm interested in, I've been a bit of a cloud spotter for quite a, a time. And um, I took some good cloud formations. Oh. And also some. Dolly, Dolly, I was recording the latest Dollies in the Garden video, and I did a few, and um, and then when I took them upstairs to put onto my friend's, I mean to put on my external hard drive using my friend's laptop, out of all the videos and images I'd taken with this camera of the latest Dollies in the Garden video, because I've been trying to explain all this for ages and saying, oh, I'll talk about that later. So 
and I can never do it when filming with the camera, camera, this camera. Because anyway, I'll go into that in a minute. But um, so out of all the videos and images I'd taken, the first, all the first half of those weren't even showing up. They weren't even on here. Only the the last half. So I don't know what happened there. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have to do all that first. The first ones I did, I'm going to have to do all over again because only half the dolls had been shown. So I uploaded the ones that were on there because the memory card was full up. Deleted the ones that I'd uploaded onto the external hard drive, and then went and filmed the rest. And then took the camera out. And in, in the meantime, I'd made the mistake of when you put the memory card into my friend's laptop or this one, it says. Do you want us to scan and fix? Well, I never allow a, a, a laptop to do that because I completely mucked up a uh, memory card by doing that once. It was unusable afterwards. So if it says, do you want to scan and fix an external hard drive? I, I've let it do that because it doesn't call it, it to do it. And then it stopped that message coming up. So it's different with with those, the, the external hard drives. It can do it all right on those, uh, I found anyway. But not a memory card from a digital camera so i let it start doing it and i thought oh and i cancelled it after it, it, it the green bar had only gone along a fraction and i cancelled it i thought oh, no it mucked them up before so i took the camera out filmed the rest of the dolls that i you know that i wasn't on here the first time for some reason i don't know why that was when the second half was and i hadn't done anything and then i went out with my friend and then we, i took those that i've just shown you of the the sunlight coming through the trees, the, the sunset. And then when I went to upload them onto my friend's computer later, and the same thing happens to this one, it'll upload them, but then nothing can play them, and um, you can't do anything with them. I'm well, Yeah, so I was able to copy and paste them onto this hard drive, and they're all here on the memory card, and they have, it's not like they've been deleted. And I've used file recovery programs that can retrieve deleted and, and pictures that's been deleted ages ago. These haven't even been deleted; they're on here. But I haven't. So what I've done, I've um, I got a new hard drive, and I've copied them and pasted them, copied copied them from my desktop onto this hard drive, this hard drive, hoping I can use a file recovery program like ease us or zar or whatever or photo rec to to try and recover them from there but in the meantime i got another camera because i thought i can't use that one now i don't want to muck it up by if i use it if i take any more pictures or videos on here they will be in this unusable folder because what's that's what i was meant to say what's happened is the folder that, that those particular images are in and videos have turned itself into a file, an unreadable file. And um, of course it's not a file, it's a folder. So every time I click on the so-called file, it says what program do you want to use to, and of course nothing nothing does, notepad to read it and, and say that all the AVIs and JPEGs are there. So I need a retrieval program to, to try and retrieve those out of the so-called file. I downloaded 7-zip because people, some people said you can open a folder that's turned into a file with 7-zip but I wasn't able to do anything with it. So uh, anyhow in the meantime I got this new camera and um, but some of the videos on there um, there's three videos on here. I took a lot, load of videos the, the other day and there's three videos on here that I can't even upload, that they play fine, they're on the memory card and they play fine on the camera, but I can't upload them onto the uh, laptop. I can't upload because nothing recognises. It, it'll show them, but if you try and um, copy it, it'll say uh, uh, error, unreadable. So, uh, you know, they're, they're shown on the camera fine, but um, I just, and let me show you how this starts. It's... um. If we can do this, hang on. Oh, that's not the right, right thing. It's this one. I'll get it right in a minute. So I get all anxious when I'm making. Let me try and. I like the way it starts, and then, hang on. 
Let me stop it now. And then you've got... See, I think that's quite pretty. Yeah, and anyway, I'm sorry, I've got a grease mark on me. I opened a can of, um, I opened a can of peppered mackerel fillets and the oil went on. To <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, no one sees it. So, oh, it's another nice warm day. Uh, dollies in their new outfits. Oh, they look jolly nice. I don't know if you can see them. They look nice. Vanya, oh no, oh, okay. oh, Vanya and Tanith, and I've named this one Janice, I was going to call her Shirley, but then I realised I've got a dolly called Shirley, so she's uh, Janice, just one of the Playline dolls I got from the entertainer a couple of weeks ago, yeah. So I've, I've not seen this face mould before. I'm sure they've released it. I'm, it's not a new one. But she's a nice dolly. Oh, and this skirt I got from M and Co. Oh, let me try and get this back a bit on without pulling the painting lead out. Uh, I can get back a bit. Oh. Hang on. Nice skirt from M and Co. See the pattern? It's, it's called Labyrinth. By Tiggy or Tiggy, T I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like leaves and things. It's a nice colour, it's not picking it up properly on the webcam, obviously, because it does. Let me put the light out a moment and see if it makes a difference. Hang on. Right, I'm just. Sometimes it's better with the light out. I don't know if it is, though. Because I just thought it's a nice pattern. It's a, it's a nice lightweight one as well, so it's not too hot in the warm weather. Oh, my camera, I showed my camera, haven't I? That's a nice. Did I show, did I, oh, did I show you the, uh, little, oh, where are we? The little thing. The little cat. Is it that the right, yeah, it's a little cat face on there. So, dear. I'm sorry everything's so inadequate. Another look at Dolly in the, the natural light. Janice. There she is. I'm using this one in the bath today. From Eve Rocher. I just wish they were still available in the UK. I know I say it every time. But it's the truth. So yeah, I'm using this. All different ones. I like the unpackaging on these things. Right, let's try this one, shall we, tonight? The one with the red berries, or the... What's it called? <sighs> Summer berries. Summer berries. Oh, they look nice. They do look rather nice. Right, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, this looks nice. Very nice. I'm just having a lukewarm bath because it's a lovely, mild evening. 15th or 16th of September. And a uh, friend's bathroom. Very <laughs> light effect in here, isn't it? Oh. I've got a night view now. I don't know if it makes any difference. <laughs> right, yes. No, you could still buy this soap. I got it from Waitrose a while back. Yolk soap, coconut and mint, and it does smell nice. And oh, uh, well, this tea's nice as well, which is a uh, ooh beetroot. It's got beetroot. It's got beetroot. Orange and ginger. Yeah, it's nice. I'm in the light here. I don't know where to get. Orange and ginger twinings. It's nice. It's nice. I've got a spoonful of honey with rose flavour in. Yolk soap. Oh dear, I'm sorry, Spider. I'm going to have to walk through the honeycomb type thing there. Right, there's a garden spider in his web. 
which is right in the way where I have to walk through, so I'll have to dismount all that way, but sometime, it'll be a shame. Sorry, spider. That's some sort of honeycomb that's on there, I don't know what it is. Anyhow, look, this is a shame. There's a garden spider made a web right there, right in the way where I've got to walk through, so I'm going to have to dismantle his web, but that's a shame. I went out into my path trying to get a bit of sunlight, but I had to come in because the people that moved into the house were the people with my little friend, the little black cat, but you know, where they used to live. The people there now that she puts her baby out in the path there, and oh, the smell was, oh. And uh, I come in here, in here in my house, and the neighbours joined on to me, a, cook, a frying liver or something, and the smell of that is all thick and cloying in the air in my, and it comes into the bedroom because there's a gap there in the the door and there's a crack in the bathroom wall so I can see the light from their bathroom coming through into mine. Oh, it's unbelievable. But uh, yeah, anyhow, Dolly's in new outfit, so there's Marlise in hers, so she looked nice. And there's uh, Clary Monde in a nice dress and there's Dolores over there and there's the one in the red is uh, Ayana. We'll look at these another time. Bernadette uh, June in that one, looks nice. There we are, here's Ayana in her nice dress. Looks very nice. I'm more motivated to dress the ones with high heels and the dolls with flat feet. I think they just look nicer. I've come into the churchyard because I'm so late today, I haven't got time to go to my park. Went into the entertainer, got a new dolly, nice shoes on that one. The waitrose, Hershey's chocolate and cream. Um, I got some of this delicious tea. But look, I've got these eggs. Gold Cotswold leg bar. I've not had these before. Pastel colour. Pastel, look at that, aren't they nice? Pastel shade. Never seen eggs like this before, they're sort of green. Really nice. I got three of these this week. What's in here? I got in here at the Starbucks because we didn't have any of the Colombian blend. Pork chicken and ham pie. I hope there's lots of jelly in there. Yes, that looks rather nice, does it not? Oh, yes, we have a lot there too. Oh, look at that lovely jelly. Well, I'm in the shade here today, but still I couldn't get to my park. I've only got five minutes to eat this. I got some Causton Press, brilliant beetroot juice. Well, they didn't have the one I normally get when I was in Waitrose. So that's the uh, red salmon from Waitrose. John Breast, wood smoked Irish peppered mackerel fillets. They're very nice. A red, really garlic, red garlic, red garlic. Green chilies, I like those. Put them on my dinner, they're nice. Some more of the delicious almond croissants from Waitrose. Some of these raspberry, raspberry yum yums. My friend and I will go for a walk. And this dolly I've already shown, haven't I, from the entertainer. Lovely shoes. That time we had some high heeled shoed ones. I know these, I think these are quite old, they've been out a while. I've got those two. That's Janice, and I don't know if I'm going to name this one yet. I didn't bother to get the Barbie, and I never saw that one. But, um, so yeah. I've got this fashion pack. Some of those brown shoes. Um, and some sunglasses. I suppose it's alright. And uh, some red onions. Waitrose, organic. Nice, they're nice raw, these nice red onions. There we go, these old Cotswold leg bar. Look at these eggs. Look at them. Pastel shade. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I like that. 
in a pastel blue. This one out. I don't know what my van's going to say when he sees these. Has this one got a lion? I like the old lion mark. Nice to see that on there. I haven't seen that for a very long time. Because I was a small child. Now we have me. Pastel shade. Pastel eggs. Copswold. With pastel coloured shells. Lovely. There we go. Lovely shoes. They're sort of jellyish. Really nice. I like her hair. I don't know what to call her yet. Brown hair. I'm just having a look at the croissant. The light one, I think. I like those best. Let me show you this. I'll try again. The camera keeps switching off. Can you see him? There in his web. Put it around the other side. There. Oh! You saw him. There he is. He's going to have to go because I have to get round there to water my plants. Recording now. I was had to dismantle his web yesterday. I feel guilty doing it, but I have to get round the door to the plants sometimes. They must fly through the air to make the web from one side of the wall to the other. Right, let's see what my latest haul is, shall we? Fridge pot tuna steak from Waitrose, a special offer. Um, oh, I got these from Amazon. A uh, torch board to have uh, it's Toshiko and uh, Yanto. Um, he wrote it as well. He wrote that particular story. This one, which is Michael, Michael Palin reading a. a, a it's meant to be a self-help. Um, oh, but the monitor's going to sleep. Oh dear. So, um, tropical beach sounds and other seascapes, volume two, four. And uh, yeah, it's quite weird. Oh, I'm going to do that one over again now. I got the power of the Daleks. This uh, uh, this 2016 version, as opposed to the 2020 version, which people say is superior, because I'd read that there's an alternative to watch it in colour on this one. Well, there isn't. So disappointed. So anyway, I've got this one, Fury from the Deep. I got this first, and uh, I'm looking forward to watching that because that's I've got that on audio. It's one. It's brilliant, and I've seen the, re the recon, the telly, you know, the loose cannon recons, the reconstructions using the surviving telesnaps and the surviving clips that thanks to the Australian censors we have and there's a real creepy one of Mr Oak and Mr Quill breathing out poison gas it's really oh horrible and uh, these let me have a look. from Waitrose, Hershey's cookies and cream you know I like the cookies and cream Hershey's bars this from Marks and Spencer's Mint Truffle. Oh, my cream. A blue and white striped tinned squirty cream, of course, which is in my friend's house in the fridge. I don't have one. These after eights from Waitrose. Cappuccino bar from Marks and Spencer's. Another cappuccino bar from Marks and Spencer's. Yeah, I got two. Four of the... Latte coffee kit bars, you know I like those. And also from Marks and Spencer's, I haven't tried this particular one before, peanut butter bar. I wonder if it's like the Reese's, or whether it's actually real peanut butter bits inside. And three of these this week from Waitrose, because I love them. The Nidereg, or is it Nidereg? Nidereg, I don't know how you pronounce that, sorry. Marzipan, and they're delicious. Lovely. So, my little haul for this week. Yeah, yeah. And how silly for getting the dolly. How could I forget the dolly? Look at her lovely shoes. They're sort of a pearly effect, like a sort of a... What colour is that? Sort of a pinkish, reddish, corally colour. I mean, he said beige. What are you talking about? But something with a pearly effect. And the pattern goes all around the back of her dress. There's her hair. I haven't named her yet. I was thinking of like Mavis and Bonita and... I don't know. And here's the one I got before from the entertainer. This is Janice. I was going to call her Shirley, then I realised I've got a Shirley, so... We've already seen this girl before, but, um... 
is nice. Very nice. Two nice dollies. Two very nice dollies. And they fit just nicely in there, which is my tap box. I'm having to rely on my old silver camera again because um, this one, I've got a new memory card for it, but with the elastic bands tied around since that battery door hinge went, the slightest movement it just switches off. And this one makes ridiculously video recordings. I just, it's just unusable. About a, a few second long a video will be a, over a gigabyte. Even after you've, even after I've compressed it, it's just ridiculous. And um, my webcam that I use, webcam. Is that what they call? No. What do they call this? Not a web camcorder. Camcorder. This uses a lot. So you can lower the sort of size of it, the settings on there, but you can't on here. You're stuck with that high setting for the video. You can alter the. I've altered the still images down to two megabytes, but on my camera that I'm using and on this blue one, I can alter it to naught megabytes at all, and you still get a decent picture, well reasonable. And this one you can lower it as well, but um, yeah, this one is ridiculous with the video, but. Oh, I keep remembering things I want to say after I've turned off something off, so it's getting nice and warm again today. Fish cake. Um, Stop bleeding, this is, this is lovely, I love these. Got some wild bird black sunflower seed in Poundland and sunflower hearts a wild bird coconut and wild bird syrup pellets to feed the birds yeah another nice unicorn bag from Pounded Land very nice that silly garden spider's built his web right across my path again simple to say there he is going to have to move because I've got to get round there to water my plants. <laughs> I can't touch the camera underneath part or it switches off. This is my second day of having an almond croissant. These are lovely. And um, the sun was out just now. The spider's back down there. Where is he? There. Let me put this back and I'll have one of these. I like these. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you don't just go and put. I keep putting them over in the ivy, but it keeps moving again. He's gone back there again. He moved earlier, but he's back again now. I don't like being interfered with, does he? 